when I was younger, I was actually treated by an occupational therapist, and that was really fundamental in my decision to go into OT. I uh, acquired an injury that made it very difficult for me to do a lot of the things that I love, um, especially painting and piano and drawing. And so I was told by a lot of medical professionals that I had seen that it would be I would have to give those things up. And for me, that was very devastating um, until I received a referral to go to an occupational therapist. And so she told me, you know, Jen, let's find a way that you can do these things. So she gave me my life back, and I'm so very grateful to her for that. And so that, that's part of the reason why I went into occupational therapy, because she said to me, you know, Jen, let's find a way to make that happen, and I feel that really is fundamental to what OTs do. Um, so I, I'm someone who's been on both sides of the, of the coin. I've been a client, and now I've been a student clinician. and. Uh, so when I think about occupational therapy, the word that comes to mind is hope. Um, I have so many clients that come up to me and say, you know, Jen, when I, when I get better, I hope to be able to do this, or I wish I could do this, and can you help me with that? And so my personal definition of occupational therapy is that OTs enable people to achieve their dreams and their wishes. We support them in doing that and we find ways to help them do that. And so on behalf of the class of 2011, I'd like to thank the preceptors and the professors who have supported us on our journey to becoming full-fledged occupational therapists. Thank you very much.